Welcome back to our show at GameWorks on the Las Vegas Strip. Fantasy Star was a huge hit for Sega when it came out. It was also a very expensive game for them to make, and many people found out it was very expensive to buy as well. Well, now the Sonic team is working on Fantasy Star Online, which is not only a continuation of the legacy, but also the first massively multiplayer game for the console. Six years. Yup, that's how long it's been since gamers had a Fantasy Star title. Well, Fantasy Star is back, and not only do we get to see it next-gen style, but now it's online. Developed by Sonic Team, Fantasy Star Online is the first console-based multiplayer RPG, and this game is about as online as you can get. Fantasy Star allows you to assemble a four-person party from all parts of the globe. Communication with foreign players won't be a problem because Sega's Fantasy Star online servers will have translation capabilities. That's right, what you type on your system will appear on each party member's screen in their own language. As for characters, you can create your own with practically limitless design options. You'll start off by selecting one of nine character types, each distinguished by occupation and race. You'll then have numerous variables to choose from, including hairstyle, skin color, and even body proportions. As for the control scheme, a simple four-button layout executes commands when in the midst of combat. You'll be able to initiate weak and strong attacks, use items, and conjure eye-popping magic spells. At the same time, you'll be able to chat with the rest of your party and implement new strategies in the middle of the battle. Fantasy Star Online also has an offline feature that uses the same environments as its online mode. Playing solo offline will not be as exciting, but will give you the chance to build up your stats and come back online pumped and ready to go. Get ready to say goodbye to the real world and hello to a world unlike anything you've ever seen when Fantasy Star Online hits the shelves in early February. For those of you worried about how Fantasy Star Online might play online, outside tests of the games have had minimal performance problems. Now moving from one big Sega sequel to another, here's a look at the Little Blue Hedgehog's second outing on the Dreamcast. Once again, it's time to clear the way for the world's most famous hedgehog. That's right, Sonic is back in his latest adventure, and this time, he don't break for nobody. Currently, not much is known of the plot of Sonic Adventure 2, but you can be sure that the evil Dr. Robotnik will be involved somehow, and will be up to no good, as usual. While the game mechanics from the previous Sonic Adventure remain intact, Part 2 will be more speed-oriented, rather than the obligatory walk-around exploration seen in other platformers, which is just as well. After all, he's named Sonic for a reason. You'll be expected to take Sonic up, around, and over just about everything in the game. You will have your loops, and you will get to charge down sides of buildings. Sonic Adventure 2 promises to have a load of surprises, including a new grinding ability and the return of the pole swinging feature, a Sonic trademark not seen since his 16-bit days. By the looks of it, Yuji Naka and Sonic Team have pushed the Dreamcast hardware to its graphical limits. If Sonic wasn't so fast, you might actually be able to admire the scenery. Expect Sonic Adventure 2 to blaze on and off store shelves of this spring. You know, it's always fun to play as the little blue hedgehog. Now, Gran Turismo is pretty much considered the big A-list car racing simulation. They tried to take that up a notch higher with Gran Turismo 2, but didn't really quite get there. Polyphony, the developer, is trying to do just that with Gran Turismo 3. Get ready to rev up your controllers. Gran Turismo 3 for the PS2 will soon be out for your driving pleasure. 
Polyphony Digital's latest installment in the Blockbuster series skids onto the PS2 in true 128-bit fashion. Like its two previous installments, Gran Turismo 3 will boast some of the most realistic driving mechanics ever seen on a console. Now more than ever, subtle driving elements such as torque and wheel spin become important factors in placing first. There will be graphic refinements as well. The car's models will convey a more convincing sense of depth and environmental reflections will be seen off the cars in real time. One of Gran Turismo's trademarks is its wide selection of cars. Part 3 promises to have at least 150 car models up to the 2001 model year. Look out for Gran Turismo 3 sometime in the spring. Coming up on GameSpot TV, we look at the best game gear and have a cheat code that'll put you in the lead.